Hi babes, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Auntie Chan. Oh, is it me? I'm Darby. Darby. I'm Darby. <laughs> Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for period. Drama. I'm rewatching Outlander. Mm -hmm. I just okay. started it again for the first time. What have y'all been up to this week? We just finished Outlander. It's so weird mm -hmm. that you just started it. Mm -hmm. um, we'll restart it. It's like my fifth. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you already know about all the deaths. Yeah. I remember when the Outlander took him and his mom out at the end. Mm -hmm. He said, Mom, there's no way out. Lander. Lander. And then you cry. Yeah. And you're like, that's, oh, the, God, that's, that's the, so the name of Wait, the show. Wait till you get to that again. Oh, you're going to want that. <laughs> One of my New Year's resolutions was not to order food on DoorDash or mm -hmm. anything like mm -hmm. that. Because for a year of not working, I was doing it way more than I should have. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But last night I did order something. And you know, sometimes you have to treat yourself. Okay. Because you know what they say? Six of one, life to live. Six to one, What life is that? To live. Where is that from? And eight's... A, it's too many, too many in the house. So if you're six one, you should keep living. Yeah, you have you have to live. Just, it was a little cheap. It was a little special. What did you get? <laughs> okay, I found a place that Can't has. Can't be too bad. I, I found a place that has funnel cakes, but it was a fifteen dollar. If you spend fifteen dollars, it was free delivery. So I added on a corn dog because it was only like three dollars. So you <laughs> said, you know what? I need to spoil myself. I'm gonna break this commitment I made to myself. Well, I forgot and you know about. What? I'm gonna do it with carnival food. Carnival food. Yeah. Deep fried food is the moment though. Also just like breads, sweet breads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This this last year and this year, it's been about churros, beignets, mm -hmm. funnel cake. Oh my mm -hmm. god, I love a beach churro. Houston rodeo food, uh. deep fried Oreos, the deep fried pickles, deep fried Ooh. mushrooms. Deep fried faith. Deep fried faith. I would consume deep fried faith if they presented it to me. They just didn't present it fried enough. Mm -mm. I was almost there. <laughs> I'll suck a penis instead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Deep fried? Fat free. Fat, fat free. free. Because I only like skinny penises. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You ever gotten a straw one before and you went. <laughs> you ever do that? I can't like, do that on TV. Doesn't Curtis have a f though? Like ah! <laughs> Don't say it. Well, you, you said something about deleting the apps. I deleted the dating apps because... <gasps> you did! Love starts with yourself. <gasps> yeah. Uh, that fall RuPaul. Fall in love with yourself. That RuPaul. That RuPaul. Mm -hmm. What so do you love about yourself? In. What did you discover about yourself mm. since you deleted the you apps? You know what? What don't we? I love to dance. Mm -hmm. You're a good dancer. I, you are a good dancer. I love to sing to myself. Like that. And I love to cook for myself. And I want to be able to, you know, cook a meal for someone. Oh, I'm going to re-download it. Oh, I really need to cook for <laughs> I want to cook for someone. If you can't cook for yourself. Sign up again. Sign up again. Other than that, what did I what did I do this week? What did I do this week? Um, What's this week? It was the inauguration fast. tease. <gasps> the the inauguration. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. America has a new president. Okay, UK. I know I, people are keeping up with our country like it's reality TV. Because yeah, it is. Yeah, we had yeah. a reality TV star in office. And star. he's gone. He's gone. Yeah. And now we have Kamala Harris and an old white guy. Yeah. Back to basics. <laughs> I'm loving all the tweets that are like, okay, we celebrate today. Tomorrow we say... Get to work. Get to work. Get to work. And, because and we're not going to be. He's been signing executive orders. Sure. He's been tweeting. Or yeah. someone's been tweeting for him. Thank God we have a president mm -hmm. who doesn't know how to use his phone. Oh, thank God. But can we, like, can we, okay. Can we as a country decide collectively mm -hmm. to elect someone uh -huh. who is not so close to death? What is it? What is it? You don't get to order the meal if you're not going to stay to the end. Like, you don't get to, like, make all of these decisions for the table and then skip out before the check. Mm. Like, you're going to, he's going to go. Drop some wisdom. Yeah, you're right. But, like, to see him next to Kamala, because she is so much younger, and even she's not young, mm -hmm. but just, can we... Well, here's the thing. You know how, like, we had a reality TV pres or a president came from reality TV? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's what it feels like to me still. Like, they're doing all of this because mm -hmm. it's presentational. It's like, no, this is someone that just represents what a president is. It's usually an Correct. old man. We're just so that desperate nice to get back to normal. Yeah. We're like, let's put in that old white guy. Yeah. Let's, he's already been in the White House. Let's just put him back. Television rules the nation. Overall, though, it was a very exciting day. Did you not feel a little relieved? I know that everything's not fixed, mm -hmm. but didn't it feel like... No, but you know what it is? You get know what it is there. healing? Jennifer Lopez mm. singing Let's Get Loud. Let's Get Loud. In the middle of her... Let's Get Loud. I 
pulled out Spotify and streamed it. I was like, I'm yeah. gonna do what you're asking me to. Yeah, and we did. We got loud. Yeah. Uh -huh. I loved it. I, I, would, I wouldn't change a thing. Mm -hmm. Her earrings... Her jewelry, the I fashions, hate it. I love it. The fashions, love it. The white, the, the white. Oh, hate Michelle it, Obama love it. in hate that. It, love it. Michelle Obama, purple. Jill Biden in that light blue. Yeah. Oh, and then who the was it? The ladies turned it out. The ladies turned it out. Kamala the, Harris's stepdaughter, the bejeweled shoulder, the cape, shoulders. Mui, the sh mui, 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 what's the designer? Mew Mew. Mew Mew. Mew Mew. Mew Mew. Mew Mew. Amazing. Style like The fashions were right. The right. fashions were right, and I think, thank God, we're just not in a Trump era anymore. No. But you know what the we are in? The UK. I, do, I suck at these transitions. But we Alexis, are in. can you do it? No, just do it again. You have it. You know what we are in. <laughs> Okay, wait. You deflected okay, it. Hang on, hang on. Um, but we're not Trump. We're not Trump. You know what we are in? Huh. Mm -hmm. um, the queen. We're inside her. We're inside <laughs> the queen. We're like inside her. I need to take a break. I just need to take no. a break. <laughs> that was beautiful. No, that was beautiful. You do a really good job at transitions. I love your transitions. Mm -hmm. I'm... Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. See, another nice thing. Is anyone keeping score? You, you, you internalized that. You said, no, this is a compliment. I'm going to take I, it. You know what? This year is all about we're, we're stepping into our light. We're I love accepting. that. I received that. Mm -hmm. I received that. You did. Because I was ready for you to be like, transition it. Well, I try. I, I did. I did. I was like, well, how can I do puns or wordplay? Mm -hmm. And I didn't have anything. I saw so you I just received like, it. That's power. Thank you for receiving that. Thank you for... Giving. My turn. You look stunning. You look very gorgeous and your tits are so yeah, high. Yeah, you look voluptuous. I receive that mm -hmm. and I give it back to myself. You look beautiful. Mm. And Chan, you look kind Let's of- Let's get in line! <laughs> <laughs> Is that I'm gonna pee. <laughs> <laughs> is that the new baggage of this stunning? Uh, well, you know what I'm ready to get loud about is uh. Drag Race UK. <laughs> I would never there have thought of that. <laughs> she took it there. RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2, Episode 2. I'm doing Australian. <laughs> Wait, British in. British in. RuPaul's Pacing Drag Race. Separate rooms. RuPaul's Drag Race. No. RuPaul's Drag Race UK Series 2, Episode 2. I can only do Australian. Series? I can't do it. But you know two. what I can do? Okay. Two. Series two. 2, Episode 2. I enjoyed this episode. You did tell me it was going to be a lot. Did you enjoy it? Mm hmm. Um. This is the, the, so this is the Rusical episode. We start. Mm -hmm. Joe has just left. I'm still reeling from Joe Black leaving this competition. Mm -hmm. I don't quite understand. <gasps> okay. Ooh, but tell me. Did you notice that the other girls were also reeling like, well, if Joe's gone, oh, I've got the Alexis bubble in my throat. <gasps> How do you get it out? <laughs> but all the other contestants were like, well, if Joe Black is gone, then like anyone can go. Which no made one me is think safe. like, that's, a that's shenanigans. Oh, of course. I mean, it's a television show. She went out show. too soon, I yeah. think. Definitely. The talent. The talent. The talent. The Glenn Close. Get out. And they Glenn closed that door on Joe Black, and I'm sad about it. Okay, I'm going to compliment you again. That was great. Thank you. Take okay. Note. I got two. All right, I got to get my glasses on for okay. these notes, because I have a lot. Hold on. Okay. They briefly talk about how Estina Mandela, some of the girls threw shade and said, Estina, all you did was wear an ASOS jacket. Mm -hmm. And then what did Estina say? She, she said, said, you're mad about it. She said, what? you're mad. And I can sew an outfit. I can buy an outfit. I can make an outfit. But what does the CV say? A CV is British. I looked it up. It stands for curriculum vitae. And it just means resume. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's clever. So she said, you can be mad that I'm wearing this jacket. But what does my resume say? <gasps> it says I'm the only one that's won a challenge here so far. Um. Yeah, but Shut that Ahura up real quick. I did enjoy going on Twitter and, and just seeing that. I think we were all just confused in general by, by the, the judging. judging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, The judging. Mm -hmm. But that's Love not Estina. Estina's fault. Love Estina. It's not her fault, no, but right. I could see how people would kind of direct things towards her and direct things towards Bimini. Because they're like, that's not the outcome yeah. that yeah. I wanted. Yeah, like why would you judge... Drag Race UK, you don't know anything about the references. You don't know the country. You don't know the people. Well, why are, oh, are you talking to us? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> talking no. to them. We can judge. We can we judge. Can judge. We can judge. But also, judge. they're not judging on the same standards as America, I feel like. Oh, no. No, they've not asked a single person who they voted for yet. <laughs> Jenny Lemon 
this isn't really integral to the show, but she did try on the mini Bobbity Boo's thong outfit. Mm -hmm. And we saw her lemon bushel. That was fun. She's a hairy little butt. Mm -hmm. I, I oh, the butts it. later. Sorry. Plot twist, butt. But. Joe Black left Lauren some nails. Joe said, you didn't have any nails. I'm going to leave you some. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. And then there's a brief discourse about stealing. I, it seemed jokey, but then they went to the talking heads about stealing material. There's no joke. I don't know. Did that, did that read true to y'all? That read true. The stealing joke. Yeah. It, it seemed like. Why are you looking at me? That's how, no, that's how you like stab a comedian. It's like, oh, how yeah. about you steal jokes? Like your yeah. entire existence is stolen. That's how you go for the kill. Didn't a comedian you know? die over that? Did I make that up? Getting stabbed or stealing jokes? Someone stole jokes and like killed them? No. Maybe Ooh. I was listening to a true crime documentary after I watched Comedy Central. Never mind. <laughs> I think I made up a movie. Write that down. Write that down. Write that down. Producer. The mini challenge is flood the ballot box in the vote for the official drag cabinet. Oh, democracy. I loved that. This was fun. That's how, now that's how you do voting at the beginning of a drag race series correctly. Make people vote to send someone home that they yeah. just met, not as fun. But make people vote, like who's the hottest? So like yeah, yeah. Fun. Secretary of Shade went to Ahwara. Which was Ahura. very clear. Right, which was so. very clear. And right, she's, no, yeah. yeah. I think she's really leaning into her villain edit. Like I think, yeah. I think she's in on the joke. I, I hate, I love her. It's also like- I know we're not supposed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying her so yeah. far. Mm -hmm. Trade minister went to taste. Correct. Ooh, great. Correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. 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 And so did the producers because there were so many close ups of taste face and I was not, I was not mad at yes. all. Those eyes. Yeah. The structure. Yes. yes. Which, now, before you, know, you found out oh, oh. who was going to be it, who did you think? Would you agree? I think it was going to be taste too. For you personally? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For mm -hmm. me personally, I think initially I would have voted for Estina. But then once I really started to see taste, how everyone else was mm -hmm. seeing taste, perhaps I've been persuaded. <laughs> so I'm I wasn't sitting mad. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wasn't Yeah. Mad. For you. I mean, it feels wrong because I could I could be her father, but Ellie Diamond. Ellie Diamond. I'm into, oh. a, very I'm into a tall <gasps> elf ear. Did you see Trend Alert? The elf ears everyone was wearing? Mm -hmm. She was still in the workroom. Mm -hmm. I have some. You know she's a fan of the show. Hey, Ellie. <gasps> hey, hey, Ellie. Okay. Put, put your ears in her butt. <laughs> Maybe one in the front, one in the back. Yeah. Leader of the House of Lording It Up, AKA Miss Who? Miss Cocky Queen. Oh, Miss Cocky Queen, Miss Arrogant. What's Lawrence Cheney? <laughs> that was Miss Lawrence Cheney, which I think is accurate. Don't well, you think she's is it accurate or is she just like quick? She's quick. Like, I think she's. She's intimidating yes. to some people because not only are her looks amazing, but yeah. she can like cut you down real quick. Yeah, she's super quick. That's what which it, is trauma. That is how she <laughs> has, oh, break it down, doctor. That is how she has survived. Because uh -huh, uh -huh. that's how my whenever anyone asks like, where did you get your quick wit? Like you're so funny. Like did people always tell you that growing up? I'm like, no. They always called me mm -hmm. a faggot. That's how I developed this. Uh -huh. It's actually trauma. Defense mechanisms. Uh, exactly. And I think Lawrence has developed that skill very well. So to the bullies of Lawrence, thank you so much. You created yeah. a wonderful queen. Kisses to my critics. Mm -hmm. And the Baroness of Basic. Ooh. Ooh. Not a good title. Not I a good title. Tea of Coffee. Yeah, but she lived up to that title tonight. Yeah. It was fun seeing them read each other when they were doing it. Mm -hmm. Like everyone had a little something to say when they were filling out their ballad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tia had a lot to say. <laughs> Tia had a lot to say. She was vying yeah. for she was very, this, queen. She was good this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, She's very good TV. Um, now we learn that the maxi challenge is Rats the Rusical. Have y'all ever had a pet rat? Pet? I've had two. We've had an invasion, an infestation. Wait, oh. no and, pets. And, and what kind of rats, Darby? So I had a hairless rat with red eyes. Her name was Princess Penelope. And then they said that she would get too cold if she lived by herself. So I had to get her a sister. And I got her a hairy rat named Annabelle. Annabelle was sweet. I didn't give a fuck about her because Princess Penelope was where it's at. She felt like a scrotum full of bones. Oh. Have you ever felt oh. a scrotum full of bones? No. Oh, you're missing out. <laughs> I would get a tube sock and I'd cut the end off and I'd lay it on my chest and then she would just crawl into it and then she would just lay there while I watched TV. But then when I got my dog Maggie, RIP, mm. it drove her crazy. So I had to get rid of her. He I chose, think she was eaten by you snake. You Sophie's choice. This baby rat got eaten no, by a snake? No, I don't think she did. Well, I gave it to, so I gave it to a country person who's, who works at a pet store. And they're like, don't worry, I'll find a good home for it. And I was like, you're a country person who works at a pet store. That's mm -hmm. either you're going to eat it or a snake will. <laughs> 
on a skewer <laughs> over a fire. And that's the death story of the episode. Yeah. So R.I.P. Oh Princess Penelope. What kind of pets did you have? You have pets. I have. What kind of rats? Did what you kind of have? rats did you have? I have really? the only thing close to that was a guinea pig mm. named Alfalfa. Rodent. Who. I think we both hated each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. I remember one time I was walking home. I was living in the Loop, Chicago Loop. Fancy. I was coming home from a little uh, Second City show. It was I loved the show. It was a great show. And this rat, that big street rat, <gasps> that that big. Yeah, they're. You know cute. how they just run across the street because yeah. they like that's what they do. They, they just don't run. give a fuck. They don't give a. F it ran into my shoe and it was trying to like get around the shoe and I kept running into my shoe. I was about to kill him. Wait, <laughs> I was it about to ran kill into your shoe? It ran into my shoe. It bumped into my shoe. It was so scary. I was so scared. I, I was like, I can't live in the city anymore. That's why you moved to Schomburg. Mm -hmm. You live in that Ikea, <laughs> right? That's me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, was it that kept hairless? running into Did you? it have red eyes? Was her name Penelope? It was Penelope. Oh, yeah! Oh, it said, where's mommy? <laughs> I need to go home. Since everyone voted Tia Coffee as the Baroness of Basic, RuPaul decides to throw shade at them all and make the Baroness the casting agent for Rats the Rusical. Mm -hmm. Now everyone's eating their words. Very Elliot with two T's. Mm -hmm. They're, oh, she loves, yeah. She mm -hmm. loves to make someone an underdog and then give them the underdog over. Make them an underdog is a really nice way to put it. I think she likes to like hurt people. And then she's <laughs> like, all right, now I've done it to you. You do, you do it. it. <laughs> but it's like, she's like a Gemini, like that's not her fault. Yeah, that's true. It's the stars. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Tia does, the, I think the sensible thing, she asks who can sing, because the new, the big thing about this is they are singing live. Right. Unlike US Drag Race, which they lip sync to their own voices. Right. I liked oh. this better. This was fun. This was super This was fun, fun well, but it can either go good or horrible. And then after that, she says, what parts do you want? Mm -hmm. Would you believe people when they said like, oh yeah, no, I could sing, or would you ask them to give you a few bars? Well, that's how that's what happened. I would never ask a singer to give me a few bars. No. I would. You would? Sweeter. If you don't know them? Trust me, I'm really good. I'm gonna be the lead in this. Wouldn't you be like, well, can you like give me a little song? Yeah, but you <clears> can <throat> sing. You want me to give you a few yeah, bars? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Will you give me a few bars? Don't do what Veronica did. Be, <laughs> be, be real. <laughs> Let's get live! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yes! Thank you. Shiloh herself couldn't have done it better. I'm a Vita now or whatever. I'm yeah. A Vita. Well, that's what Tia says. She says, who could sing? Veronica Green says, me. I can say, uh -huh. I, I, Veronica is me. I'm You Veronica. feel it? You feel yes. her? Mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed because she is good. Mm -hmm. She did live up to the hype, which was... Surprising. Not surprising, but, oh. well, surprising because when they did ask her to sing and she did that weird thing. Yeah, no, it was not Was good. she going for comedy? I thought it was really interesting that it w it came down to Veronica, who was very theater kid nightmare about it. It was mm -hmm. like, here's my resume. No, I have this and this and this. I'm ready to play Rat Avita. And yeah. Cherry was like, that doesn't matter. And then Ahura was like, hang on, hang on. I'm the villain. Let me do this. I've seen her perform. I've never seen you perform. Oh, I was like, uh, get the uh, musical uh, theater uh, kid. Yeah. The, this is their the moment. Tits, the, yeah. the tit mouse thing. Let her have that. You can make one person's life with this role. Yeah. And she said. But it's so tricky. There 99 people in a room. And one is a musical theater major. There was a couple of moments in this scene alone where Lawrence Chaney was like, I'm upset. I don't understand. I feel weird. Mama. Mama. Mm -hmm. Everyone feels weird at this point. I'm sure everyone's scared of this. We all feel, that's why we're here. Cause we don't feel, do you feel now? We're weirdos. No. no. <laughs> okay, so there's two that needed to be like hip hop, like dancing rap queens. Right. And Ellie hip was insistent dancing. that's the one, one of those that she wanted. I think their names were like Scabies and Scabies. Scabies and Scabies. Scabies and Rabies. Uh, Zaxby's. Rap and musical theater, Lin-Manuel Miranda. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Arrest. Lynn Manuel Miranda, <laughs> when Wait. you get a chance, citizens arrest. Anyone can do it. People's favorite musical is still Hamilton. Not mine. What's your favorite musical? I like Book of Mormon. Oh. Me too. Yeah, very it's funny. funny. I never, I've never seen oh. that. So uh, there is a good YouTube pro tip. There's a really good person sitting in like the fourth row who filmed the entire thing on Broadway and it's on YouTube. Can I say this? Pre-pandemic, inexcusable. During pandemic, I'm really thankful for those videos. Mm. And I know that a lot of Broadway people are. Mm -hmm. Not Patti LuPone. Wait, is that your favorite musical too? I want to know the answer to the question. Oh, Book it's not my favorite musical, but it's my, I think if like, you get to go see one musical tonight, I think I probably would go see Book of Mormon. It makes me laugh out loud. But my favorite musical of all time, obviously, 
Point Break the Musical. Yes. I love that one. Oh. The last five years. Last five that years. Was, that was too sad. Damn me. Oh, yeah. Did I tell you about the time I saw it? It was Coke Candy Productions, and I saw it at Theater Wit. The guy and the girl were the pianists. So when Jamie was singing, she was playing no. the piano. When she was singing, he was no. playing. I just got chills singing that. That's it. good. It was brilliant. Oh. It was brilliant. We lost a lot during the pandemic in theater, live theater. Mm hmm which honestly, I was list. thankful for. Can I be honest with you? Oh, let's, talk. <laughs> no, let's talk about it. I love live theater. Don't get me wrong. Uh -huh. But I like it on my own terms. And mm -hmm. I'm with an actor. Mm -hmm. So he has to go see a lot of plays because that's part of acting. That's work. Is, is <gasps> watching. You know, acting is reacting. So we saw a lot of plays. I saw... I don't even get into it, but she did. She got shot in the stomach. This is a conversation. Maybe we talk about this on our podcast Music exclusively yeah, on should, Patreon. Should, should. Because I dated a person who would write reviews for theater and I would go to see shows with him. Mm. Mama. Mm -mm. Our Patreon only podcast. It's very fun. This week we, we will be watching Speed, <gasps> the movie. My favorite movie. Chance first time. Mm. We'll she be calls chatting the bus. about it. Here's yeah. the bus. Yep. Yeah. So join Patreon and watch Speed. Speaking of speed, let's speed things up to the rehearsal <laughs> process on the stage She's back. with Michelle Visage and a man named Dane Cook. Essentially, this is probably like the first time they have it on its feet. Mm -hmm. They're probably not memorized yet. Mm -hmm. So notes like, you're holding back, you're not going far enough. It's like, well, yeah, of course, I just got this. I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not giving you full out. When Ahura said that, it was played like she was being shady. But it's like, well, yeah, you're not going full out until you're in the full out. Costume. That was a good Michelle mm. moment, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has to make... Because he was be like, like what did a, a horror say? She was like, I can't get nasty with it right now. And she's like, oh, because you're in cute pants and a cute top. And your little uh, turtleneck. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, fancy yeah. pants. Right, I was like, right. Michelle. She yeah. got them. That was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's worked with gays long enough to know how to read. Yeah. She came back. They go to the choreography next. <gasps> Who was that choreographer? We didn't have him. That was. Uh, his name was... Hot the man in green jumpsuit. They were both beautiful. Mm. Lawrence Cheney has a breakdown on the stage. Mm. At this point, I'm starting to kind of get, and I love Lawrence Cheney. Sorry for doing this. Cheney. Love. I love, love, I love Lawrence. Lawrence Cheney. Cheney. Are they maybe self producing a little bit? Like, are they maybe raising, lowering the bar so that way they can, like, be good in the, mm. in the production? You think Lawrence mm. Cheney cried to self produce? Well, Mm, let me think. I'm sure he was overwhelmed and tired. Mm -hmm. And then that gave Taste a really good line. What was that line? Girl, you're already crying. It's only week two. Only week two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The trauma hasn't even begun. They've been no. nice to you so far. Yeah. Extremely, compared so nice. to the U.S. Uh-huh. Ugh. I just thought it was really nice that everyone was like, no, let's let's cheer our girl on. And that was, was like, yeah, nice. Yeah. I think they all know that, like, it was they're going to be exhausted from the process, so. Yeah. She was the first one to cry. Yay, someone someone else did it. Yay. Yeah, I think, yeah. though, like, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a perfectionist. That's why mm. I never look good, because I, I can't quite perfect it, so I give mm. up. You I know always, what I mean? I always think you look good. You look beautiful, always. There is a stone missing right here. I but know. There's... It fell out. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Going on stage and rehearsing in front of other people and you don't feel like you're ready to perform, for me, I would feel very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Like, oh shit, I'm not gonna sound good. I'm not ready for this. Yeah. And oh my God, there's cameras on us. and like, I'm gonna look so stupid. Mm. It's hard to know when to go full out at what Or time. like you said, if you just got the material, you don't, you can't go full out. You but think this about shit. this ladies. Both of y'all have so much talent and so much potential <gasps> and so much energy Mm -hmm. And you're holding yourself back. And there's someone else out there that's getting your opportunities. And you can do it better than them. Okay, you're right. Movie bitches, you've been warned. Oh! I got a bag of nuts for you, though. Here you go. <laughs> that was <laughs> too much. Too much. Too Just much. Kidding. Too much. We love movie No, we love movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep bitching. Ooh. Hey, baby. Hey, girl, don't, don't you eat my eat nuts. Those it is the next day. It's elimination day. We are back in the workroom. The first thing we see is Miss Taste mm -hmm. and Miss Ahura flirting. Mm -hmm. Ahura did say this earlier. She said she'd already had a taste of Taste. Mm -hmm. And that's why she voted for him for lead trade. What did that mean? Did that mean that they touched? They, I think oh, they, they hooked up. Oh, okay. Well, they whatever, touched in some whatever kind of hooking way. up meant to them, I think they've hooked each other. Mm -hmm. Into each other. They've hooked their hooks. 34, 35. Mm -hmm. Or metric over there, so it's like 20, 64. I have a feeling centimeters. penis was involved. I don't want to get into it a minute. And then we get into a conversation with Sister Sister and Cherry Valentine. Cherry's talking about how she comes from traveling people. She was talking about, sorry, I keep crying. 
out of this eye. Uh -oh. It's so weird. Traveling is people really poking? affect you? No, it's just this eye's been leaking. We Were gotta, you in we love with leak. the traveling person? Is it your glasses? It could be like messing up your focus. The refraction, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cherry Valentine comes from traveling people, or gypsies, she says. Mm -hmm. And traveling, she talks traveling, about traveling. straight expectations, mm. toxic masculinity. Mm. I'm sure we can all relate on some level to this. Mm -hmm. Maybe not as much. But she reveals that she's not as out and open as she feels like she should be. Yeah. Everyone's journey is different. Yeah. yeah. I like that she was talking about how she loves her family but has to juggle them and feels like she's being held back by them. I think that's something we all can yeah. relate to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. JP, baby, please don't lick yours. You're right under the microphone. We hear that. Oh. Well, you threw your nuts around. You tempted her to come out. She she's smelled like, this. <laughs> you grabbed my nuts. I grabbed your nuts. <laughs> Next, they're on to the main stage for Rats, the Rusical. Mm -hmm. Rats. Now, Darby set me up. What? You said that it's, you said it's bad. What's you said bad? this episode is bad. I didn't say it was bad. I said Drag Race got worse. Drag Race UK got worse. And by that, I meant we lost another great one. And I, <gasps> oh, like the judging oh. got worse. And I don't understand it. I didn't, I oh. love that part, yeah. I loved the episode. I love a rusical. But I just when you get when you survive an hour long episode, I want the ending to make sense to me. Mm -hmm. so no, I like, loved the music. I thought it was cute and I really loved how they shaded the movie cats so much. Have you seen cats? Mm -mm. That's what it was. Yeah. Okay, have you seen it? Mm -mm. Darby, you haven't seen it either? No. During quarantine, I learned to love myself. <gasps> there you go. So I said, Am I gonna do cats? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna put myself through that. There you go. I love myself. I wish I could I wish I could unsee it. I've seen yeah. clips of it. Like, like I've seen like, uh, like the the movie. The apps. You want to delete the cast. I want to delete the cast. <gasps> it's in my head. Mm -hmm. I get it. Are you talking about the movie or the like the live show? The movie. Okay. No, the live show is perfection. Okay, the There's live show is There's a reason that it was running on Broadway. It for is so long. long. Well, yeah. I could leave an intermission <laughs> of everything. I can tell you that it right get, now. I could go to anything and I love it and I'd leave it an intermission. Yes. Carrie Underwood concert, Beyonce concerts. I haven't left because I spent money, but. I'd be happy to leave. Mm -hmm. Plays. I'd love to just be like, oh, well, that's that's so nice that hmm. August Osage County, they're all super happy and they're a nice little family. And then I go home. You don't care about what happens to the characters? Like, oh, how is this going to end up? No, because they're not real. Mm. Immediately, Ellie, she kind of messes up in, during her feature. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. A little bit, which is, which is hard to see. And I felt like they weren't really showing Taste that much. I thought Taste was Taste fine. was looking down. Yeah. Taste was hard to understand. Stand. And she said, and Taste said that. She's like, I'm worried about my accent. And she was just a little, like, more low key. I don't think either of them delivered what they wanted to. What cracked me about Ellie's mistake was the line she forgot was the name of the show. That was the one line she forgot. No. Was RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> like, that was the one. Where am I She's at? Like, oh my God. What not to wear? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> but you had a different take on taste. You thought taste. I thought did it well. was fine. Yeah, it didn't feel like it was like, oh, she should be in the bottom too. Well, like, I feel like, like the editing were... played it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone fucked up. No. I think no. It was a silly. I think there was a clear winner. Yeah. And I think there were some strong safes. But for me, as a watcher, the runway really <clears throat> made a lot, made a big difference. But. <clears throat> Apparently to the judges, it didn't. Let's get into the runway yeah, let's get into the runway. The runway is surprise is surprise, which means reveal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reveal. Mm -hmm. Take it away. First up, we have a horror. Abe Lincoln teeth about to, yeah. about to chop, no, no, the cherry tree, that's the first one. <laughs> no, Rue said that she was freeing the slaves. Freeing the, oh, uh, did anyone else feel uncomfortable? No, Rue could say that, we can't say that. Oh, right, this is true. Yeah, yeah. But we this can giggle true. softly at Emancipation home. tease, yes. Mm -hmm. And then okay. she revealed into the bride. So it was yeah. really bright. Oh. She looked gorgeous. Mm -hmm. She did look gorgeous. Wait, I'm just realizing now, the reason we said a Blinken was because she had the top hat on, mm -hmm. but her wig underneath was a tall <gasps> moment. Mm -hmm. That takes That's that why. takes a sturdy wig. That's why. Mm -hmm. Wood glue. It. <gasps> Thank you so much to one of our Patreons, wood glue. That's how wood you do glue. it. That's okay. how you make hard big hair. Hard. Hair. That's how you make it hard. I thought she looked beautiful. She knows how to dress herself and she paints really beautifully, of course, and mm -hmm. the wig was gorgeous. Yes. But it was a very literal interpretation of the assignment. I'm the groom. Now I'm the bride. The theme is surprise, right? Uh -huh. So there needs to be some sort of reveal. I wanted every reveal to be like, oh! Maybe yeah. Abe Lincoln reveal into Abe Lincoln, but dead at the theater. Yeah! Yeah. No! <laughs> 
He died over 200 years ago. I can't make that. Is it too <laughs> soon? I didn't realize you were such an Abe Lincoln apologist. <clears throat> I thought Ahura was wonderful in Cats. The voice she used, yeah. I thought she was a stand-up. Uh -huh. And I think the only reason she wasn't in the top was because her costume, costume mm -hmm. was a little too fine. So, broom and grind, we've seen yeah, it before. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But she looked great. I hear you, oh yeah. Yeah. But I hear you. We had Lawrence Cheney, and she gave us She was like the dazzling blueberry, and then she was right the away- Was that the Scottish flag? And then right away she did tartan. Wasn't the blueberry Scottish flag? Was it? I think it yeah. was just a rhinestone. Oh, mm -mm. wasn't it? She said the blue and white of Scotland. Oh, the colors of Scottish yeah, flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She came out in the colors of the Scottish flag, and then revealed into the- Into her tartan. The tartan. Mm -hmm. Which is what they wear every day. Tartan. And it is actually really crazy Uniform. because mm -hmm. when most people wear kilts, they don't wear anything underneath, especially not That's a blue sequin ooh, gown. Now I know. She did layer her tartan with a blue sequin jumpsuit. Yeah. You're absolutely right. So your balls are just out. Yeah. Um. I. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Your balls? Your balls, balls are your just balls out. Genie. I thought she looked phenom. I loved the blueberry a little more than I did the tartan. However, I was a little disappointed. Mm -hmm. She pulled a little Tia tea. Like last week, remember Tia? She would just drop all her props at the back and I'd be like, come to the front. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let but us Lawrence see did that. that too. She, she did came it right out away. That gorgeous blue sequin mm -hmm. that I wanted to see move and then she immediately. Away. Yeah. Good note. Also, yeah, Lawrence, take that note. <laughs> also, it was the only sparkle on the stage all night. Ooh. I want to mm. say that. I agree with you. I think it was a little underwhelming just because it was really pretty, especially once you saw it all down and unfolded and the skirt was like properly folded yeah. over. It looked really beautiful on her and she looked the hair was so pretty to mm -hmm. me. She looked so feminine and beautiful. I loved it. But I think in comparison is what, in comparison to all the other. No but from me. Tens, tens, tens across the board. Graham says it when the judging later, he was like, at first I was like, meh, but then I saw the other reveals and I was like, yeah, that's the best. Mm -hmm. Up next we had Ginny Lemon. <gasps> she gave us a mod 60s. Crocs. Um, Crocs. Platform and some Crocs. Yellow tees. Did you not get nervous? that she had walked the runway and gone down both sides. Did you not get nervous that she misunderstood the assignment and there was gonna be no surprise? I was like, oh my God, she walked down this entire runway. She's about to walk back. Mm -mm. Oh my God, there's no surprise. And then? Same dress. Same dress. I love, Without a butt. I love that love. reveal. Can I say? Such a funny reveal. Huh? So funny. So, so funny. They were acting like disappointed, but that's, Same. Yes. that's funny. Mm -hmm. That's funny. That's Jenny. And that's Jenny Lemon. That's Jenny. And you turn around, you get a butt, you get it's a like, porthole. It's like, kiss hole. my ass. Thank you. That was or just look at it. That was a big, big social hairy ass, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. That was brilliant. She's finding a way to, be, to her. be her on a show that is very like, don't be you. Right. Sometimes. Right. <sighs> well, <laughs> don't be yourself. Yeah. Well. That's okay too. Yeah. They do that in America, but I kind of feel like in UK they're like, do be yourself. Why aren't you being more of yourself? Mm. Change yourself to be you. Mm. I think you, you know what it is. We have moved on to a new administration. Trump is no longer president, but I think you're still feeling that way. So you're very angry at America. What I want you to do right now, put your hands on your knees. Okay. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Hold it. I'm going to count to three. And then I want to hear you get loud. Okay. One, two, three. Let's <gasps> get loud. Is that what you want? I <laughs> never. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you said get loud. That's as loud as it gets. American loud, which is oh. J Lo loud. Oh, I thought you meant like serial killer. Like, oh, like ah, oh, they're gonna get me. Yeah, that's true. <gasps> that's made me sweaty. Okay, if there's a knock on the door, I'll answer it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll answer the knock. Cherry Valentine and that yellow polka dot yeah. voluminous gender uh, reveal. Gender she reveal. went, yeah, baby doll to pregnant to baby. Chris, mm -hmm. Chris yeah. Kardashian. I thought it was a cute outfit. I thought it was odd. Uh, but I thought it was a well made outfit. Mm -hmm. When she came out and I just saw a glimpse, I thought she was a baby and that tooled skirt was a bassinet. Like I thought uh, her head was coming out of a bassinet mm -hmm. and the bow was like the, the top. Mm, I see what you're saying. So that she could be like a little baby and didn't but they do that on Nickelodeon? Yeah, like but a instead baby. They just ripped it off. But and instead, she had a belly. And yeah. then she had a belly, and it just said gender. Yeah, which was so confusing. It was. Yeah, it was very unclear. She should have set a forest on fire. That's how you do gender. Reviews. There you go. That's how we do it in America. <gasps> that would have been a statement. USA. A statement. USA. Yeah. It was a well-made costume. 
It bad was cool. Concept. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. The concept wasn't there. Yeah. I wonder. I, think I that, wonder if we're just being biased because we know we what's love, coming. Well, we love quality. We love the polish. Maybe we're giving her a pass because honestly, if we take the polish away and we say this was the costume, I think we'd all go, "What the fuck? Yeah. What? Yeah. Because we love her Fine. so much. And her face is so beautiful. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Okay. What would your surprise one be? Your oh, surprise. okay. A reveal. Oh. I was thinking about this. I think the way a reveal works best is when you do not see it coming. Because mm -hmm. one of the most iconic reveals, I mean, sorry to shake Kool Aid, but is the rose petals. You did not see it coming. Right. Mm -hmm. You didn't know that all those petals were going to be up in that wig. Rather than you have mm -hmm. love, 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 love her, but mm -hmm. Aquaria coming out in the wonton, it's like, I wonder what that's oh, over there. Yeah. The best is when you don't see it coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what would yours be? I go pirate, but not too costumey. Pirate. Oh no, costumey. A pirate into okay. a mermaid. Ooh, how about that? Ooh. Oh, you didn't see that. Oh, oh that's, that's so pretty. Cute. That's funny. You take out the eye patch and the the scales. It's the just fish scale. mermaid yeah. comes out. Mm -hmm. Oh, but how would I work around the fin? Oh, gotta think about that. You got time. I would walk out. It would be really easy to make, but it's like a cocoon, and it's like two hula hoops mm -hmm. with like fabric down it. And so okay. I walk in in the cocoon, and then I drop it, and I'm a beautiful butterfly. Butterfly. That, that is masterful. Familiar. Thank you. No, honestly, I would just wear something really pretty when I got to the end of the runway. I'd just lift my skirt and show them my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a cramp. Oh. Ugh. Surprise. I'm going to reveal my dick. <laughs> Don't worry. I would do... I, I, I would do... That. I don't... <laughs> Well, I can't. It's just, the it's just you got a penis. I do love the idea of revealing into the same exact outfit. I thought it was brilliant. Mm -hmm. It's brilliant, and I don't want to say like I did at first, but I did that on Camp Kiki, the finale of that. Mm -hmm. I tore away into the same thing. I think you could do it again if you revealed five or six times into the same. The same dress. <gasps> well, speaking like, of multiple away reveals, dress, tear away dress. Is is Miss Ellie Diamond next? Mm -hmm. Up Miss, next, Ellie Diamond. Uh, Miss Ellie Diamond, Scarecrows and Tin Mans and Lions. Rue's oh my! Rue's favorite movie. Mm -hmm. Rue's favorite movie. Darby's. Is that your yeah. favorite movie? Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite. It's it's your favorite actress. Who I am. As a person. Yeah. I thought it was cute. I thought it was very I very loved well it. Done. I liked it, yeah. That hair worked for every look. Yeah. And that surprised me. Because mm -hmm. when she had it on, I was like, well, that's obviously Scarecrow. That's not going to work for the Tin Man. And then it did work for the Tin Man. Yeah. And then it worked for the Cowardly Lion. Because the costume yeah. wasn't too, like, intense either. Yeah. Or, and it and wasn't poorly made. it came out. She came out and it didn't seem very, like, covery. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't, I didn't see the reveal mm -hmm. at all. She was really she, tip, she tipped me off in the in the explanation. The voiceover is my first look. I was like, "Why are you saying first look? That means there's probably going to be more than more than, than one." Mm -hmm. I was tipped off by the multiple people who went before her and revealed into looks. But yes, no, I just meant tipped off as in <laughs> no, <just> three. <laughs> um, uh, for me, it was the category is revealed. <laughs> uh, Up next, <laughs> Astina in a black cape. Reveals into Melina from Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Astina Melina. Mm -hmm. yeah, now you're cute. you're a video game. You Gamer. play mm -hmm. video games. Mm -hmm. Give us your interpretation of that look. Um, I don't think it was much of a of a reveal to be honest. Like it was, it a, was, cape. Like, it was a cape into the costume, and it immediately happened. Yeah, it was another one of those. I walked in covered, and mm -hmm. then I just dropped it. She yeah. also did though. She also did a mask into a mouth. A mask reveal, and that is the character. Like she does reveal that like she has a set of teeth but in my opinion that prosthetic of the mouth I did not like that prosthetic it was so clearly like it looked mounted like on. do y'all ever when you were little or as an adult no judgment mm -hmm. did you ever get that candy it was hillbilly teeth and it was a sucker yes so you sucked on it like it was a pacifier but you oh, had yeah. it look like that it looked like it was sitting atop her face yes. like when we were young yeah. they would have balls just regular balls that would come with like mouths and teeth on them like monster balls what balls? Monster balls. Balls They're on the mind. Balls on the mind. Must be balls Astina on the mind. Astina has a beautiful body, but there wasn't much to this. Yeah. There, there wasn't was much no to reveal. this. We saw something very similar, which is not saying anything. It's mm -hmm. just a coincidence from Holland, from uh, Abby OMG. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They yeah. did, for their twin, they oh, did a Melina Katana. Which works a little, which works better because they sisters. That was a little, sisters? Yeah, they're sisters in the video game. Sisters. So. Mm -hmm. This was just kind of a bathing suit. Yeah. Beautiful body. Beautiful though. body, though. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful body. Beautiful body. Uh, up next, sister, sister. She has on the 70s couch. <laughs> Is that what she works out? <laughs> she came back she came, out as Dusty Springfield. She came back out, oh! 
Yeah. Yeah, she was doing kind of a 70s couch and then she tore away and she was Tana the Tattooed Lady, Red Light District, Lingerie, and then she did another reveal into Bald. Into Bald. Episode one, I was happy to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Sure. Sister Sisters, Dusty Springfield. Mm. I thought the makeup was not great, but I thought, oh, well, she's like, whenever I try to do like a, a person, like I'm in, imitating someone and I'm not doing my makeup, it always feels a little crunchy because like I don't do it, you know? So I was like, all right, that's fine. And then she did the like housewife going shopping and crying or whatever. And I was like, that's a little messy too. Like she's a little messy, but then this came out. It was messy. It was messy. The makeup was messy. The wig was messy. The reveal into the look, the look wasn't mm -hmm. together in some places. It just, she looks messy. It was I'm more, sorry, I know that's mean. It was more sister No, cousin. can I add on to that? Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, I, I don't be lying. Every time they mention sister, sister, I remember that she's on this season. I keep forgetting that she is on this season. <laughs> she's okay. a sister you forgot about? She's a sister, I don't know you sis. <laughs> maybe, maybe don't include that. I think no, that, no, no. The I children have been asking for us be to be alone. meaner. Okay, you I don't be think mean? we're being mean because this isn't coming from a mean-spirited place. Yeah, no. you've entered into a competition, and we have made ourselves the judges on YouTube, and we gave ourselves that right. I guess yeah. so. I just think she's shown us what she can do, and I think I'm gonna opt out. Okay. Sister, sister has been the one. Remember from the meet, she had the weird flashlight on her. Yes. Round. It's always been her, a little the weird lips. for me. She's the blue lips. Uh -huh. I love her. I do remember. I love that. her as a person. Like when she's her talking head, she's always really encouraging. Whenever they're having like side conversations, she encouraged Sherry. She yeah, yeah, yeah. encouraged yeah. Lawrence she's the week Lawrence. before. I mean, she's giving sister. We need them to connect. We need sister, sister. sister. May, you know what We need it might them be? to run into each other mm -hmm. at a at a store. It's what the people are talking about now, nowadays. Branding. It could be an issue of brand. I don't see. When branding I look at you, I'm like, oh, you're sister, sister. You're the girl that does that. Branding is horrible. Branding is horrible. We should not you do that. You should not. You, on animals to Putting begin with. hot pokers? Mm -hmm. What do you want to brand on her? I guess the blue lips. Yes. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna brand a crab under your ass. <sighs> Up next is Veronica Green. She comes down in kind of a Stepford housewife thing with the hairline very low. But can I say this? Large. She looks like Deborah Messing. Shh. Yeah. And then she does the reveal. Is she Deborah messing Ooh. with us? Who the hell is that? Grace from Will and Grace. Will and Grace. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. I didn't see Who it. are they? It's fine. Just, <laughs> you stay here. Whatever. Okay. I know Will and Grace. That's a gay person and yeah. that lady. Okay, so she, she she does the reveal oh, and she's okay. in a robot. It's Will and Grace. It's it's Right. I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're listening. Sorry, we're listening. She does a reveal and she's in a robot outfit. I thought the robot was great. She said she made it. I love the body. That was incredible. That the, was the beautiful. Nipples. But that was a very, oh, there's a reveal coming. Because when she walked out in that Stepford look, that dress yeah, is 10 sizes bigger than her. Yeah. Like, she yeah. looked like, you know, like when you were a kid and you'd want to be a robot, so you'd put your arms in like boxes and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looked like she was like, here's my chance. Or it's like Polly Pocket, <laughs> how when you change the clothes they're like mm. you have to like cover them oh i'm sorry i was a mask for mask boy i only played with boy toys and by that i mean penises penis toys it was giving me mugler that's what it was i was like what oh yeah the body the yeah. body and the chaparelli yeah oh, oh. recently yeah i thought it was a solid reveal like good for you uh -huh. you made it happen yeah. and you looked good. and she, she looked threw great. that pan of cookies down she was really good in the rusical mm -hmm. she was giving me ann margrat <sighs> Who? <laughs> Anne Margaret. She was in Bye Bye Birdie. Oh, right, 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 right. She's not a rat. She's an old lady. Is she I, alive? Did I she do die? Th Is Anne Margaret alive? I think she's still alive. Margaret Thatcher died. Oh, damn. I will say this. I think Veronica proved Pistol herself. <laughs> I think Veronica proved herself. I think she said, I'm, mm -hmm. I really can sing. I'm really good. Uh -huh. And I believe her now. It was her episode. Ooh. I loved seeing her perform. And I said, like last week, I cannot wait to see her be a musical nightmare. And she was. And she was great. I just... The robot thing was the first thing I've seen her wear that I was like, oh, yeah, that's that's a look. Mm -hmm. Like everything else is just, it just doesn't, it just hasn't worked for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I hear young you. Queen, I hear you. Young, young, the polis, the polis. Yeah, and the robot 
while the body was amazing, mm -hmm. wasn't sparkly or shiny at all. There were elements that always seemed to be missing. Like she came out in that big rose dress, but it was just a big red dress. Mm -hmm. She came in in a purple dress, but it was There's just a purple dress. There's not a sparkle shine. Ruth, There's that, no finish. There's, There's no, no finish, finish. finish mm -hmm. to anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what it is. Like I need more Finland. Up next we have Tace. Tace is wearing red for Tace dead. Tace also did like a kind of cover up Reveal a cover-up reveal. Does it count? I don't know, because it didn't have concept. It, it went too fast. I want maybe maybe the interesting yeah. part of it was in because it was like two things. It was like taking off the jacket, but then the jacket became the train. But it yeah. went too fast. You couldn't see it. Mm -hmm. I will say this. I woke up this morning. Uh huh. Thank well, God. I woke up around noon, and I and Always I went to and I went directly to Twitter. Yeah. And what's the first thing I see is a close-up of her bloody face uh -huh. in that beautiful wig. Oh. And someone had tweeted. I think it was Bambi, friend of the show, said this is the most beautiful face that's ever graced any runway. This is true. I, I have to say I agree. The yeah. blood on it, it was giving me like Suspiria. So then when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's red fashion into red fashion. It's not very surprising, but it was still beautiful. But it to sold look the color. At. And then she did blood. Have y'all ever done blood? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we, but we give those passes. Right. Katya ripped away her bangs mm -hmm. to that a was... pentagram and then bled out her mouth. Those were her reveals. That wasn't exciting, but we were like living for it because mm -hmm. it was Katya. So yeah, I think maybe we can live for taste because taste is beautiful mm -hmm. and incredible. No, I don't, no, I wanted more. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe like you said, like if she had brought out the jacket and we got to see the look mm -hmm. and then it's like, oh, you have a complete look. Oh, you're ripping away part of your look. Instead it was like, yeah. oh, I forgot to take this off. I'm about to. That's a fair judgment. Yeah, right? that's fair judging. Everyone yeah. needs to have a concept maybe. Yeah, more, more concept. You can't rely just on mm -hmm. beauty Are you still your phone? That is what they said. Can I oh, charge yeah. the iPad? I'll die real soon. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You can't rely just, sorry, just on body and fashion. And Rue says it, there's another beautiful fashion queen. Another sexy world. Oh, yeah. And it's me. See you soon. And then finally, Bimini Bon Boulash. Bimini Bon Boulash. Comes out in a bowling pin paint reveal oh, kind of. I wrote bowling pin because <laughs> when she came out, I thought it was a bowling pin with bowling mini bowling balls everywhere. Uh huh. Oh, oh, okay. So she has this idea where she's gonna burst open these balloons mm -hmm. and she's gonna paint herself and that's the reveal. That's a cool idea. Great idea. It didn't work at all, right? So now you're just in a corset and panties. Correct. And the you were fine in the challenge and right. the rats. Right. I thought, yeah. But were you like a standout? Mm. No. No. Mm. Why was she safe? She was also in the bottom two last week. That blew my mind. I could, I, I that was a judging decision I didn't understand mm. because her rat's performance, I don't think it makes up for the fact that she just wore a, a corset and panties yeah. with like paint dripping out of things by accident. I don't know. They see Sorry. something that I don't see. <sighs> they see something that I don't see. You would have delivered an incredible performance yes. for them to ignore that runway in the US. Would you not? Fair. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm getting real heated. I don't no, understand. I agree with you. She should have She should have been in the bottom. Yeah. The she thing is, been in though, the did I did I hallucinate? Did she say her tryouts never went well of the paint thing? Yeah, she did. So if it's never gone well, why risk it? Why risk it? You it, look like a bowling pin. She should have ha brought out a ball, and the surprise bowl. is she bowls herself. Bowling pin looking ass. You better roll up and bowl. <laughs> did she look like a bowling pin? I didn't see that. But you saw that because be your hair. hair. I was giving her something. <laughs> that she goes can't just with the sister, into sister it. thing. She's shown us what she can do. And what she can do is sloppy and it never quite gets there. Unrelated, don't watch any of our early episodes. Oh, no, no. We look <laughs> oh. awful. I'm not, I know, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not. But, uh, but I, you can be fair. And that wasn't fair that she wasn't in the box. Right. I mean, it doesn't make it sense. Let's, let's talk about no. the judging. All these people are safe. Yeah. That I don't understand why. Yeah. yeah. And then it's unclear who's in the top mm -hmm. because they said they like Lawrence, but they also were like, but you sucked in the you, learning the challenge. You were fine in the musical. The only really clear top person was, was Ellie. Well, no, because Ellie messed up. It was Veronica Green. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're Do right. Do you think there's going to be a twist? A bring back the girls episode. I don't think so. I don't think the BBC has the patience for that. Okay. I like that the BBC keeps it moving. They're like, mm -hmm. bye, we'll see you later. Mm -hmm. I love that shit. Yeah. Oh, we didn't talk about Rue. Rue came out that? in that brown. She came out like a chocolate leather Did you like it? Did you ruffles. Like it? I didn't care for it. And I think it was mainly the hair and the makeup that it just, I don't know. 
Oh, I like She's been it. looking I like so good. Oh, yeah. okay, I'll say. I was okay. wrong. I was wrong. Go ahead. No, no. Your you homosexual you opinion. What do you think? What do you think? My homosexual opinion, I thought she looked great. I love when I see her leg. Yeah, I agreed. I thought it was fun and interesting. Mm -hmm. Same. I lo I thought it was so interesting. Now, live Where in your is truth. your spine? Sit up straight. I don't want to be truth. the mean one. Also, I that's get the my... comment again. P be the mean one. The girl in the These poop are kids. dress. The girl in the poop dress is mean. I love a brown dress. I think I'm You're going to be gorgeous. intimidated by kids on the internet? Yes. Sitting at well, home. Well, you need to... Believe don't, in don't, myself. Don't look at the comments. If I didn't look at the comments, would I know now that Jenny Lemon's Kate Bush look was from Kate Bush's Wuthering Heights music video I love it when they do and the was not the though. picture that the producers used? Would I know that, let's say, 20 to 25 times now? No, I wouldn't. But now I know. So you would like to issue this official retraction? This is a retraction. Thank you to the 250 people who told us how. To spit spot. Take that. Take no, that. I love it. I appreciate it. I just sometimes I get into a mental space where yeah, yeah the no, comments feel yeah. they're scary. That's why you gotta avoid them I sometimes. Know, I, have to. I do avoid it's just it's good that someone looks at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's me. So if you ever <laughs> make a comment, just know I'm the one looking at them. Be nice to her. I love the comments. No, the comments. They're always like, Oh, she's pretty. And when they're nice, I screenshot them, I send them to these two. Mm -hmm. So they're if funny. you're nice. Yeah. Or if you're really mean, I will screenshot and send it. <laughs> Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then make it a Facebook like cover photo. Like I love mm -hmm. that. I, I love, love it. it. Mm -hmm. That's branding. That's branding. Someone needs to talk to. That's self awareness. Too. Yeah. Thanks, Thank lovely. You. I am mean. <laughs> Let's make the bottom two taste <sighs> and cherry Valentine. cherry Valentine, and then make them perform a ballad. <sighs> I was just saying. I was asked by a bar, a redacted bar, to perform a ballad in front of the person who sang it and made it popular. Oh. And, and it a was, British person at that. Yeah. One time I was asked to perform the song Keep Bleeding, Bleeding, Bleeding Love by Leona Lewis. For Leona Lewis. <laughs> what? It's called Bleeding Love. Oh. You said keep bleeding. Yeah, well that's the, the <laughs> lyrics. See, that's the first problem. Is that <laughs> you, you didn't went care. into it not knowing the song's title and you were like, why is she so obsessed she with wants me She to was sing, there keep bleeding. and she saw me do it. That there better not be to a be video. To be fair, she did come up on stage. She came up and she grabbed my hands and she she yeah. officially saved she saved me. Leona Lewis it was so sweet. If you're watching Leona, she's not. But we got all of this these notes, right? Like the <sighs> bar manager was like this is what her people have approved that you can talk about. She's okay with you joking a little, but like, don't take it too far. And I was like, me? Then Leona actually walked in with her people. And once I talked to Leona, I asked her directly, like, these are kind of like the shit I like to joke about. Can I say these words? Mm -hmm. Are you okay with me mm -hmm. talking about this? And she was like, oh my God, I live for all of this. Like, whatever you want to do. And I was like, all right. And then we went on a wild ride with Leona. And she couldn't have been nicer. Yeah. And she, she wore have my been shirt nicer. in and front of a fountain. Yeah. On Instagram. And posted it on Instagram. Yeah. Wasn't that nice? Uh, we ended up in the hole at Jack Camera that night. That was fun. Both you and Leona? Yeah. That's where she got the name Leona Luas. Okay. And, and it you was were bleeding. So you kept bleeding that. Keep bleeding, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my rear ring popped out. Oh. They had to sing Memory. I regret that. They had to lip sync to Memory. They had to lip sync Agreed. to Memory by Elaine Page. But, okay. But, but. yes, what a weird choice. But, Was drag queens weird? do perform ballads. Yes, drag queens do perform ballads. Do I want to see it on the Olympics of drag? I thought it was the perfect song. Really? Yes. Cast the musical. Let's see them act it out. It doesn't always have to be flips and tricks. It's well, now I agree with that. I queens can act. Let's see if I the queens can act. Actually, wait. Why are we being... I would need a ballad. You know what? More ballads. More... I'm see, you just have to forever. speak a little bit and then they're like, no, actually, yeah. Taste... Okay. Charlie Hyde's Cherry. Oh. Charlie Hyde's. She didn't... Taste moved. Cherry. Charlie Hyde's. Mm. Problem. Mm. Go to the back. Cherry also kind of flubbed the words a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. Taste moved. Taste Cherry, moved. Charlie Hides. Taste his face. Taste face. Taste, Taste face. Sultry. The arms. Emotion. Yeah. Arms. Looking yeah. around. Taste. Taste. Biting her jaw. Taste. Mm. Knocked it out of the park. Mm -hmm. She worked with what she had and she killed it. It was a clear And Taste winner. is a dancing queen, but she held back. She didn't try. I did wonder if someone was going to try to do a, like a cooter slam on the tongue. Cooter slam. Well, you know Elaine Page used to do that. 
Yeah. Yeah. But y'all don't, don't like ballads on Drag Race? I no, mean, I, think I, do I just felt like this is <laughs> so... Now that you said it, and I heard it, I do. do I felt like it sucked. Like, you get to the bottom, and you don't even get to have the opportunity to, if Cherry had any tricks. Now, I'm not, I don't do tricks. Yeah. So, I'm saying, as a person without tricks and without rhythm, I, I would need a ballad. So, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm ballad. in your same boat. We're mm -hmm. in boats together. No, you have rhythm. You've got music. Oh. You've got tapping. Who could ask for anything more? That was the episode. Was the episode. Did we like it? Cherry Valentine no. goes home. No, I hate that. I don't understand how they're getting these tops and bottoms. It doesn't make sense <laughs> to me. But Cherry Valentine and Joe Black, you will live on in infamy. Infamy. In Jo you're gonna live forever. Now, before we go, it's our very important segment called RuPaul's Drag Race. You okay? So, uh, Jan, you okay? Kind of upset that Cherry went home. Like, actually fuming. Was very angry when I saw that happen. So, not okay. But after you've sat mm -hmm. with your friends, you've <sighs> talked giggled, it out, yeah. You've convinced us that ballads are valid. Ballads yeah. are valid. Ballads valid, are valid. Ballad, ballad. Yeah. Do you feel better? Well, I do feel validated. I do have my feelings validated, so now I feel better. Oh, oh. okay. Oh. Oh. Darby, you okay? Yes. <laughs> oh, Alexis. Huh? You okay? Yeah, you know, I've been doing this fun thing where I've been um, staying up until my, my roommate leaves for work, and he has the morning shift at Trader Joe's, so he leaves for work at 3 a.m. You stay so up till 3 a.m.? I've been staying up till like 3, 4 oh a.m. But wait, I asked if you were okay, and you said, yeah. If you're staying up till 3 or 4 a.m., you're not okay. Well, I do sleep till 2, so I still get my, like, 11 oh, hours. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> Well, I guess if you're eating carnival food late at night, I guess I would stay up for a His body's dog. digesting you. Can I say, it was good. I might have to do I it again. Bet. <laughs> it was good. I want a it corn dog real bad. Did we go to good. carnivals for the games? No. No. Oh, okay. That crunchy no, no, pancake no, no, exterior. No, no. Come on in. And that's been RuPaul's Drag Race UK. And then before we go, something that you're going to be hearing a lot about in the coming weeks. We were sent a message by the lovely Chicago Black Drag Council. Ooh. They are having a virtual event called the Black Valentine Cabaret. It's a weekend long event showcasing all black drag, burlesque, and ballroom performers, <gasps> mm. along with DJs and musicians. They're currently raising funds for the event and have a GoFundMe so that they can pay everyone involved. So go to your calendar and say mm -hmm. Valentine's Day, and then you'll see that it's completely open, Alexis, and then you'll just put in these shows. <laughs> hey! Also, go to their GoFundMe, and if you can, please put some money in there so that these performers can be paid, because let me tell you, it is Dita Ritz, The Vixen, Lucy Stuhl, Unfriendly Black Hotties, Love all them. of them, <gasps> Arigato, Eve the Bunny, Olasia, Degrassi, okay, you know what? Wow. So we will put the link in the description box below, so if you can just click on that, give some money, and then, We'll all tune in together. Yeah. Oh. It's gonna be a long Let's weekend. Watch. Yeah. It's gonna be a fun weekend. Can I come over here and watch with you? No. Oh. So that is definitely something that we want you to put your money toward. But we also want you to put your money towards us because guess what? After this is our job. Yeah. Mm. So after you give to that GoFundMe so you can make sure those performances are paid, you can go to our Venmo at IMHO the show or Cash App mm. at ha Cash App IMHO the show. And that is a very, very, very nice thing that you could do for us so that we can continue to pay our bills and and buy bills. So I thought we could kind of roll the the beautiful bean footage beautiful of all the names of the people footage. who gave to us yeah, last yeah. week. Look a new day oh, has begun. Wait, have you ever seen Celine Dion singing Memory? No. Sorry. <laughs> Wheeze it out. There right. you go. Girl. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Drag Race UK. We are having a blast with this series while also yes. not understanding anything oh, at judging. all about the, the decisions. Yeah. But we will be back next week with more hilarious, fun, exciting, angry opinions. See you later, Gavna. Bye.